Welcome back to our channel, Maths Zone African Motives. Today we're diving into the fascinating topic of the birth, life, and death of stars. Stars are not just twinkling lights in the night sky. They go through an incredible life cycle that spans millions to billions of years. Let's explore how stars are born, how they live, and eventually how they die. Birth, life, and death of stars. The birth, life, and death of star stars go through a life cycle that spans millions to billions of years. This cycle includes stages of formation, stability, and eventual death, with the fate of a star determined by its mass. One birth of a star nebula. Stars are born in nebulae, which are vast clouds of gas, mostly hydrogen, and dust in space. Protostar formation. Gravity causes the gas and dust in the nebula to collapse inward, forming a dense core called a protostar. As the core gets denser and hotter, nuclear fusion, the process that powers stars, begins. Main Sequence Star Once nuclear fusion starts, the star enters the main sequence phase, which is the longest and most stable period of its life. 2. Life of a Star Main Sequence During this stage, the star burns hydrogen in its core, producing energy that keeps the star stable. The outward pressure from nuclear fusion balances the inward pull of gravity. Stability. How long a star stays in this stage depends on its mass dot. Large stars burn their fuel quickly and live shorter lives, lasting millions of years. Smaller stars burn their fuel slowly and can last for billions of years. 3. Dot death of a star. The way a star dies depends on its mass dot, low dash mass stars, like the sun red giant. When the hydrogen in the core is used up, the star swells into a red giant and helium fusion begins in the core. Planetary Nebula The outer layers of the star are shed into space, forming a glowing shell of gas known as a planetary nebula. White Dwarf The core that remains becomes a white dwarf, a small, dense object that slowly cools and fades over time. High-mass stars Supergiant Massive stars expand into supergiants once their hydrogen fuel is exhausted and heavier elements like carbon and iron are fused in the core. Supernova. When the star can no longer sustain fusion, it collapses and explodes in a violent event called a supernova, releasing massive amounts of energy and scattering elements into space. Neutron star or black hole. If the core that remains is between 1.4 and 3 times the mass of the sun, it becomes a neutron star, a dense object made mostly of neutrons. If the core is more massive, it collapses into a black hole, an object with gravity so strong that not even light can escape. And that's the life story of stars, from their birth in glowing nebulae, to their long lives in the main sequence, and finally to their spectacular deaths as white dwarfs, neutron stars, or even black holes. The stars we see at night have lived for millions or billions of years, shaping the universe as we know it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science tutorials. Thanks for watching and keep looking up at the stars!